Brainstorming. In this video, we will look at What is brainstorming? What is the output expected that is the purpose of doing brainstorming? What inputs do you need prior to doing brainstorming? Resources required. People involved and what they need to know or should be able to do. Steps involved. Process measures to know whether you are doing it properly. Brainstorming is used to generate and collect ideas with the help of a team. Output expected out of brainstorming is collection of as many ideas as possible which can be to identify the causes of a problem, to find out solutions to a problem, to improve the existing situation, product or service, to bring innovative solutions, product or service. Inputs needed for doing a brainstorming are the topic of brainstorming can be as covered earlier. To identify the causes of a problem. Product or service to innovate. Identifying solutions to a problem. Scope. The scope should specify limitations of the brainstorming session whether this session will also include rating, prioritization of the ideas, and preparation of action plan after collection of ideas. Or will be limited only to the collection of ideas. A silent place can be a conference or meeting room. Pen and paper or computer to record ideas collected. I would recommend the use of computers since corrections are easy and easy for sharing and further working. A mind mapping software installed on the computer if you are using a computer for recording ideas collected. I recommend the use of mind mapping for writing notes since it helps in the easier linkage of the ideas and further working. I use a free mind mapping software called Free Mind. I am giving a link in the description box. In case a computer or mind mapping software is not available, I still recommend the use of mind mapping on paper. You can also use other traditional methods of note taking to record ideas. There are three categories of roles in the brainstorming session facilitator, idea collector, and participants. Ensure the number of participants is between 4 and 12. Less than 4 people will make it difficult to generate ideas and more than 12 people will make it time consuming. Let's look at the role of them. The role of the facilitator is to maintain the effectiveness and efficiency of the brainstorming session. The role of idea collector is to record ideas shared by the participants. The role of participants is to freely share ideas as comes to mind to achieve the purpose of the brainstorming session. Knowledge and competence required for the facilitator are In-depth knowledge of the brainstorming topic and results expected out of the session. Knowledge and competence required for idea collector is Note-taking tools such as mind mapping Participants of the brainstorming sessions should know what is brainstorming and what are its rules. Rules, guidelines for these roles are as follows. A facilitator should defer from judgment or domination. And should make efforts to develop a motivating and open environment for the participants. Participants should wait for their turn to share their ideas as per the sequence decided by the facilitator. There should be only one conversation at a time which will be with the facilitator and occasionally with idea collector to note down the idea. Participants should refrain from dominating other people and their ideas. And do not laugh on ideas shared by other people, unless the topic is funny or facilitator allows considering the topic not being sensitive. Participants are allowed to add suggestions or ideas on ideas shared by other participants but in a positive manner. Now let's look at the steps involved in brainstorming. State the topic, purpose, duration, and scope of the brainstorming session. Then specify the rules of the brainstorming. Then decide the sequence in which participants are allowed to talk and share ideas. In case people are new to brainstorming, a five-minute sample brainstorming session can be conducted to make them familiar with brainstorming. Topics such as possible uses of a pen, phone, etc. can be used. This step is completely optional but helps people understand brainstorming and helps to increase involvement. Restate the topic of brainstorming and start the session with the sequence decided. 
Idea collector should record the ideas shared by people throughout the brainstorming session. The facilitator or idea collector should seek clarification from participants in case the idea is not clear. Connect similar or those ideas that are dependent on others. This will make it easier for taking actions. Then prioritize the ideas and make an action plan. If this is in the scope, it can be covered in the brainstorming session itself. Otherwise it can be done separately later on. The last step would be to review the status of the actions plan and check its effectiveness to ensure the objective of the brainstorming session is achieved. You can review whether you are doing brainstorming sessions properly through two measures which are Effectiveness and Efficiency Effectiveness means getting required output or the quality of output. For example, quality of food at a restaurant. Efficiency means utilization resources such as time, effort or cost. For example, the price of food at a restaurant or time taken to serve food on the table. Measures of effectiveness can be Achievement of the objective, which can be a reduction in the number of complaints or success of product or service in the market, etc. Measures for efficiency can be Number of ideas collected per minute Time taken to complete the session, etc. For sticking to the end, I am sharing a one-page summary of this video in turtle chart format. The link is in the description box. Thank you so much for your time.